Hello, vinyl community, and hello all metalheads out there. Yes, Janne is back again, and today I'm going to jump on the metal tag. A tag that I did, I think, uh, a year or two ago. Um, uh, but I was too busy, I think, last year to make. I only did one tag. I'm not really sure. But there are so many tags out there, and I love to do this because I see the big challenge to dig into the record collection, and you will find so many obscure things that you haven't listened for such a long time, and you play records, you take a beer, and you just enjoy life. Great stuff. Okay, so 20 questions um, uh, created by Alan at Let's Talk Metal, and Marty at Metal uh, heavy metallurgy. 20 pretty uh, cool questions. Uh, they have been uh, thinking about this for sure uh, because some of them are pretty hard, some of them was pretty easy. So let's jump into this. Um, first question, name a release that you are waiting for. And um, I'm really waiting for Judas Priest's new record, Invisible Shield, that will be released pretty soon. Uh, they have uh, released three singles so far. The last one just uh, two weeks ago. Uh, the first uh, single that came out, The Panic Attack, was a real treat for the ears because I, I, I really dig that one because you can hear that Rob is still in good shape, especially in the vocals, hitting the high notes and it's freaking cool. Freaking cool. Uh, Next question, Chinese New Year, show a um, record with a dragon, and I will of course, as I'm a Swede, I will show something Swedish, and I will go with in the Malmsteen. Here we have Trilogy, Unge on the ground, with his guitar, he's fighting the three-headed dragon. Wonder how that ended. So cool. Great, great artwork. Number three, what was your favorite album from uh, 2023? And I will go with the Swedish band Doomcraft and their latest release. You can hear it in the background. If you tune the volume up a bit, you might can hear something. I don't know. It's playing in the background. Great stuff from the Swedes. Uh, number four, where there a title that I bought digitally? Uh, no. Uh, I haven't bought any Digitale files, as far as I know, uh, during last year. I buy a lot from Bandcamp, and then you usually get the digital file for free. Uh, it's in the purchase, uh, that I usually don't do anything with. Uh, the only digital way I listen to is either I stream straight from Bandcamp, or I uh, stream from Spotify. Uh, Spotify is a really good tool where you can access most of the things and and I like it and it's especially when you are traveling as I've been traveling a lot uh, then it's good to have your prepared list on the phone or something that you can listen to when you're killing time. Number five, show an album that musically doesn't match the cover art. As I'm a painter, uh, I love art. And uh, so this was really fun to dig out, and I found this piece. Check that cover. With its abstract painting from a band called Lizard and the record Erodad. And this was released in 2021. Amazing artwork, and of course it doesn't match up at all. Maybe there's a part in the lyrics that talk about abstract paintings, I don't know. Uh, but still, cool artwork. Number six. Uh, who is the metal artist you own the most items by? Uh, as I'm um, more an album collector, I don't buy all the singles and I don't buy all the pictures, discs that arrive. Of course, I have a few uh, that ended up in my collection. I don't know why, but still, I um, usually just buy one item when our album arrives, and not the box sets and all kinds of stuff. Then I pick the box set instead, ah, you know. 
Uh, but uh, when I did the calculation, uh, I found out that this was the band that I have most items in this genre, and it's Saxon. Uh, they have released 24 official albums during the career, and that is pretty cool. And I have most of them, and I went in for the latest to arrive, should be here any day. Show an album that you blind bought in 23 is question number seven, and I will go with this one. Sleep Wolf. Uh, it's not so common that I blind buy a new record. Usually you want to have some kind of uh, reference or hear a single or streamed piece of music or something. But this one, I saw the sticker and I know this uh, company release good stuff and yes. This was good. Here you have kind of cool occult, uh, occult stuff with very fussy, heavy guitars. Cool stuff. Sleep Wolf. Show and title that you have more than one format. And uh, let's stay in Sweden. And I will go with Death Breath. Here we have the record store day release of the, the record. I think I have this on CD somewhere as well. I also have this one on cassette. It's uh, pretty cool and I don't have a working player at the moment so I can't play those. But still, there, there you have one. Number nine, a bookworm. Show a release uh, that is inspired by literature and I will go with this one. Mastodon and Leviathan. Uh, a record that is inspired by the book that you read when you are a child, uh, Moby Dick, of course. It was written 1851, so like 170 years ago. It's freaking cool. And uh, it was written by Herman Melville. And uh, yes, they're following the concept, sort of, or at least they got inspired. Uh, name a band that you will travel uh, long distance to see live. And uh, I have seen most of the bands that I would love to see that still existing. And um, But if uh, my house gods, Robert Plant, Jimmy Page went together and formed the Page and Plant again and went for a tour and not coming to Sweden, then I will travel to see them live. Uh, Number 11, Sword, Sword Grapes. Show a release from 23 that uh, I bought and uh, I lost interest. And I will go with this one. A band called Humulus and the Flowers of Death. Uh, I have the previous releases by this band and I like them. They are really good uh, in creating great soundscapes playing so well, but somehow on this record, there's something that annoys my ear. And uh, so I, I lost interest. <coughs> I don't know really what it was. I may, might gave it, uh, give it a, another chance this evening. We will see. Number 12, The Golden Child. Name an artist that you feel can do no wrong. And I have to go back with this band. Saxon. They just continue to release record after record and they just they don't do anything wrong. They just follow the stream and do what they do best. Great, great music. Uh, overstayed Welcome. Name a band that you wished would have quit when they have were ahead. And sorry if, uh, guys uh, if you love this band but uh, I lost my interest and it's Megadeth. This is the last album where they still could do something that keeps the interesting up and rolling. Uh, the others is just uh, repeating themselves uh, and nothing really stands out. But this one is really good. Sh um, Number 14, show a band released that you bought in 2023 that is a direct result of watching someone's YouTube channel. And 
I have a few. Uh, the most uh, uh, interesting record that I bought is actually this one. Uh, Death Spell Omega, this French experimental uh, black metal band. And they are so freaking good. I'm not really 100% sure who it was. Could be my Brazilian friend. Or it could be some of the German channels that I watch. But still, great stuff. Check it out if you can. Number 15. Show us an otherwise good album that ends suffering to be too long. Uh, well, I could go with this. Uh, a band that continues to make good music, but all the records that comes are way too long. Like this, for instance, could easily be two records. Number 16. Show your favorite band t-shirt. And um, I picked one from the... <laughs> Here we have one. It's a classic uh, working shirt from Slayer, where you have all the <laughs> fancy <laughs> sponsors. It's kind of cool. And it's starting to get worn out. I love blue. So it's a good shirt. Number 17. Share a band that has been around for at least 24 years and you you think still going strong and I have to go with this Danish band Disneyland After Dark they continue to surprise me with excellent music really good band share your favorite band mascot and I have to go with uh, this uh, Warpeg Snaggletooth by Motorhead it's my favorite grab Bag, share a random pool from your collection. I will pose here and uh, run in to the room next door. Be right back. Yes, <laughs> I took up this one. Mars Volta and the uh, app, uh, app, uh, the record with Mars Volta. I can't even pronounce that. Great, great stuff. Kind of fun pull. We'll spin this tonight. Show an album from a metal band that other may not consider metal. This is the last question and I will go with this band. I might be wrong, I might be right, I don't know. Band called Haken. A band that is more to the progressive rock, even progressive folk. Uh, and they usually add a lot of metal elements in the tunes. Not all of them, but some of them are really progressive and very metal. Really cool. So, there you have that. I hope you enjoyed my choosings. And uh, have a fantastic day. Keep the record spinning and freedance.